and welcome one and all to VAW Turbulence. I am glad to be here once again with Kalani Valley Star here on my left hand side. And uh, we got an action pat show for you. Uh, we're coming to you off the hills of a great pre free preview. It was fantastic. Uh, Kalani actually had the privilege of uh, calling that. We made the main event with a heck of a main event. And we got a great show following that tonight. But before we get into that, let me tell you about some things we have. The VAWSL group, VAW Facebook, VAW YouTube channel, and VAW Marketplace. You can get anything you want from those sites. How you doing tonight, Kalani? We have some great matches lined up for tonight. So you're doing pretty good. That's nice. Well, 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 it is indeed a sad day here today at VAW, for I, the Great One, am no longer your new blood champion. The Demon of Death, or Demon of Cowardice as I like to call him, with all his fancy hocus pocus mumbo jumbo bullcrap, the Demon of Cowards finally did what he failed to do so many times before. You see, ever since the Great One stepped foot in the VAW, he has done nothing but raise hell and whoop asses all over the arena. I overcame great odds. I did a lot of questionable things in my conquests, from kicking the announcer's head off of his shoulders to talking trash about Jay Frost's ex-wife whose walls are so loose it made him feel like Mick Jagger. He just couldn't get no satisfaction. Probably why the marriage ended like it did. But on to another topic. Let me touch on me losing the belt to the Demon of Cowards. Many of you here that saw that match, I've defended my belts against the same men several times. I slayed the Cobra to gain it, and I slayed the reborn Demon of Pussies to retain it. 
And through many of the great one's matches, his bells would sound and echo through the halls of the arena. And when I know the poor demon was injured, and seeing I talk trash about certain members of production, oh it bring me to one conclusion. See, in my last match, I was unjustfully cheated out of my title. Seeing the ref wouldn't count one, two, three for the great one, I have no doubt that Alex Xavier is behind all of it. For the great one now, in this ring here, is initiating his rematch clause. And I think I deserve to pick the stipulation of my title match. Darian, let's clarify a few things, shall we? Look here, you muscle-bound fucking meathead gorilla pansy, okay? Perhaps you've forgotten exactly who I am and who you're sitting out here disrespecting and running your mouth to. So allow me to remind you. Whoa, I whoa, 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 whoa. You, you shut your whoa, fucking whoa, mouth. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just one more thing. No, Just one more thing. Let everybody here in the suspended. arena give an applause no, for the jiggly. You can shut your mouth or you can be suspended. Oh, shut suspension. Shut your mouth <laughs> now. Production, cut his mic off. You're done. I am Alex Xavier Heaney. I am the intern GM of Turbulence. Therefore, I am your boss, Darian. And you should know better than to bite the hand that feeds you. Okay? And I haven't had it out for you at all. But after sitting here and listening to the way that you're disrespecting me, and bringing up my marriage to Jay, <laughs> did you really think like that was going to anger me or the stuff that you said was going to um piss me off yeah no it, it didn't at all the fact that you injured one of my commentators and they still are not back here and you did all this while you were champion is not okay but now that you're not champion now how about a little bit of repercussions so tonight you will be in the main event, and you will have a gauntlet match of three guys for my choosing. And trust me, these guys in the back are hungry for a piece of you, Darian. And here's the stipulation. If you lose this match, you lose your chance at your rematch for the title. However, if you manage to win, then you can choose the stipulation for the match. So good luck, Darian, because you're going to need it. And you know what? That's the bottom line, because Alex Xavier said so. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was pretty funny.
that was entertaining to say the least. Uh... <laughs> that, was that was definitely interesting. interesting. <laughs> Man, there. There and he cracks me up, I tell you what. Well, with that, our ref has made our way to the ring, and it is time to uh, get this show on the road and get the first match out here.
Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the first match of the evening. Standing in the corner closest to my left, weighing in at 250 pounds, standing at 6 foot 2, the m from Albany, New York, the man of steel, Trent Rossa. His opponent standing six foot nine and weighing two hundred and ninety nine pounds from parts unknown. He is the current reigning and defending new blood champion, the Demon of Death. When the match starts. Your referee in charge of action is Sarah Jane. There goes uh, the demon of death with a lockup. Starting things off here. Kalani, who do you think uh, has the advantage here? I mean, the demon of death clearly has an advantage. He's champion, he's got everything to lose. He's definitely not going to let someone like Trent Raza, who I I know nothing about, come in and just take everything away. Yeah, Trent's a um, former um, bodybuilder and MMA fighter who decided to make his way to the wrestling ring. We'll see if that was a wise decision. Oh, and a massive headlock into a takedown. It's not every day you see a MMA fighter getting manhandled to the ground like that. Well, apparently he wasn't a very good one. Maybe that's why he decided to come to wrestling. Maybe he's one of those guys who thinks it's all fake. He has another thing in store tonight, I can't tell you that. Thing. Trent takes the big man down with the shoulder block. But now he's making a mistake, taunting. He can't do that. Yeah, and he realizes the error of his ways and goes with a couple ground stomps. Trent's taking off an elbow pad. Oh, and driving that elbow into the chest of the demon. Oh, that's a vicious move right there. That point of the elbow going right into the sternum. Now that he's going could... back to trying to show off again. Oh, when will they ever learn, Kalani? I can tell you from experience, a guy like Sinister does not need to be taken lightly. I had a match against Belial this past Tuesday, and let me tell you, I got my butt kicked, but I didn't taunt either. He just is a monster, you know, and Sinister the same way. He is a monster in the ring. And 
I'm hearing that Trent Rouse's manager, Silk, is at a parole hearing. That's nice to know. She's a felon. Anyway, um, she is promising a win for Trent Rouse. That's strong words from a apparent felon manager. Oh, I'm getting word that she's actually the parole officer. Oh, and a massive clothesline by Trent Rosa taking the big man off of his feet. You know, know. it's taking it, taking the demon. The demon has the height advantage, but he only outweighs Trim by about 50 pounds. And Trim being the smaller guy, he has a core strength advantage. He does everything from his gut. And one would have to assume speed. Yeah, he probably has a bit of speed on his side too but I wouldn't say it'd be much more cause he is pretty uh, thick and uh, giants don't move fast either do bulky guys and Trent goes into a massive wrist lock but that's countered by another headlock by the Demon of Death. And before I forget, we do have a couple Hall of Famers in the audience tonight. We have Miss Ari Demonovic and her husband, Hellhound. Both of them on VAW Hall of Famers. Since going for a, a pin here. And only a two count, says the ref Sarah Jane. See, back before Sinister was the creepy guy, the hellhound was the creepy guy, and it's good to see him back in the audience. Sorry, my nostalgia got to me, back to the match. And a massive Irish whip into the corner by the demon of death. And Trent counters with a couple of headbutts and an elbow strike. He's done to stagger the big man. And he oh, and a huge spine buster taking him down. That is a smart move, wouldn't you say, Kalani? All those uh, very smart moves. All those moves trying to stagger him, then he just drives him to the mat. And another massive headbutt drop. It appears that Trent is using his chrome dome to uh, do some damage to Sinister's head. And a flying headbutt by Trent Raza, and he gets up and uh, goes for the pin. Only gets a two count. 
Trent needs to be careful doing all those moves with his head. I mean, not to say anything, but you rattle your screws loose, who knows what you could do. I mean, I mean um, is that why they call him the Man of Steel? I don't know. I just, I just know that uh, a fellow professional wrestler did a little too many headshots and uh, ended in a double murder and a suicide. Just saying. My one he's up on the head. Oh, and Trent allowed for Sin to get back up to his feet, and Sin puts that boot right to his face. And Sin goes for a pickup. He's done to get momentum back on his side. Let's see if it pays off. And remember, fans, if you would like to have an up-close and personal viewing experience, shout HUD, and we will hook you up with the fan interaction HUD. It will give you angles that you could never get elsewhere. And a massive Irish whip to the corner. Now Sin giving him shot, giving Trent some shots to the head. Kalani, have you noticed that Sarah Jane has stayed in pretty much the same spot the whole match? Well, you have to remember Sin's last match when he won that title. She seemed to be completely on Sin's side. Is that how Sin's going to get the win this time, too? Is she going to be the same bias ref she was the last match? Could be. And after the promo tonight, you got to wonder, did Alex Xavier Haney pay Sarah Jane to do that match like that? Because it's apparent there's no love lost between Damien the Great, the, the Silver, and uh, Elizabeth Haney. Did you see that, J-Dub? Yeah. Send for that huge vertical suplex and Sarah just smiles. She seems a little fishy. That ring. I mean, I smell some tuna. It's a little fishy. And I always wanted to play in the roles. But I don't make it apparent. You know what I mean? I mean, maybe Sin is the one that Trin needs to worry about. Maybe it's Sarah. Maybe Sarah will prove to be the Man of Steel's kryptonite. That could be. Entry oh, going for, for a bit of his own. Plus. Oh, my God. And, uh, Pierce uh, Jane did a uh, decent count on that one but is she just trying to make up and make us believe she's not biased both men back to their feet now
You also get to expect that Sarah Jane will be the referee in the main event tonight. Could that play against Darian's win in that match? It's hard to tell as of now. Wow. Sarah was just yelling at the sin, telling him to watch the close fist. And Sam Pitt. Trent up and does not get a move in. Trent goes with a combination of punches and a knee to the gut, getting the big man staggered. Ah, uh, and Sin catches him with a choke slam. But Trent counters with a kick to the gut. And he follows oh, that up. Trent just lays it out. That's the MMA background there. I'm sure those heavy punches. Trent yelling, screw it. W what's he doing? And Sarah Jane saying this match is over. I saw that. Sam wins by DQ. What did she see? I didn't did she see, see anything. anything. Uh, I saw a uh, a maker punch, which is a legal move. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I'm not quite sure what she's seen, but Sam wins by DQ. I guess the refs. What is final?
well, let's just say I like to yet again congratulate Mr. Thunderstick on made betray of last week on how he became the United States Champion. And like I told him last week, that there's a few people who earn my respect. But you know, I'm not going to ride off into a sunset yet. I'm here to announce to have a rematch for the United States title for Champions Challenge in three weeks' time. But you know, I come up, since I want to be this fair, if I win next week's match, uh, Danny, you could probably, I don't know, throw a little stipulation on what type of match it is. What do you say, Danny? And the new U.S. Champion, Danny Thunder, is making his way to the ring. Um, let me tell you something first, Red. Uh, well... I can say that I'm glad that you even try to be respectful to me. So, yeah, I accept. Are you okay now? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm alright. Okay, you think I'm okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'll, I'll do a set. So in three weeks' time, you better hand over that bell, because I'd be glad to take it home again. <laughs> Before you laugh again, we have one condition. I will choose your opponent. <laughs> oh, that's fine by me, as long as I still kick that person's ass. Well, you heard that. If Red wins his match next week, he gets to hit the stipulation. It's going to be interesting. And before we move on to our next match, let's uh, recognize some sponsors who allow us to pay the light bills here. We have the VAW official website. I am posting the link now. You're fired. There you go. Enmeshed Hunts is back with the Enmeshed into Summer Hunt. Currently, 
currently accepting applications for vendors for the summer hunts. It began on May 15th. And if you'd like to do that, contact Zoe Evan there. Star Killer Custom Wrestling Attire. Get the information just outside by the ticket booth. If we are at a location, um, please have the. Please drop a note card to. Voice Fang. Rocker Fitness Gym, the premier fitness gym in SL, provides fun environment for all ages if you're interested in that message storming islay and finally team wallfire need an entrance video may contact the firebird lyra phoenix for a good price to get your entrance video done and with that we're ready for match number two
haters. <laughs> And it looks like the Toby Lynch champion, Miss One Woman Army Morgan Monarch, is making her way to ringside. Let's get some introductions here. Introducing first to the corner closest to my right, weighing in at 198 pounds, standing at 5'9", from your wildest dreams, Pammy McMahon. And to the corner closest to my left, at a height of 5'10", weighing at 160 pounds, from ancient Egypt, Zenobia. And last we have, standing at a height of 5'7", and 125 pounds from Canada, Chrissy. And of course, we're being joined here at commentary by the new Temptations champion, Morgan Monarch. How are you, Morgan? I'm good. I was just about uh, to um, say, where's my introduction? But then you, you beat me to the punch there. I got you. I must say, you winning that bet was way overdue. You are the new blood of the women's division here on Turbulence, so congratulations. Thank you. It wasn't exactly hard to win, though, was it? No, it looked like you did it in a pretty easy fashion. I came out to prove something with that match, and I got my belt. And I did. You sure did. Victory. And Pammy's taking and complete control of this match so far. Yeah, it's not a day you see a triple threat women's match in Pam. Me is showing her dominance early on. She's going for a pin. And only a two count. Come on, Pam, you can't be cute here. Chrissy's showing her strength. So, Morgan, out of these three women in the ring right now, who would you say would be your toughest opponent? Well, as far as the, the girls in this ring are concerned, they are strong competition, but I'm still stronger. Uh... I haven't, I, you know, I've beaten Chrissy and I've beaten Zenobia. I've never been in a fight with Pammy as far as I can remember. Maybe she was just so crap that I just wasn't worth remembering that fight. But so it's interesting to see how she is out there today. Zenobia is going for a pen and just another two count. So, uh, Morgan... 
on the other side of me, we have a uh, former women's champion from Elite. Do you see any probability of one day you mixing it up with some of the women from Elite? Oh, and a vicious super kick there by Pammy in a pickup. But Zenobia just shoves Pammy off. I oh, mean, goes with the Hurricane Rana. But Zenobia I needs to watch out because Chrissy's up on top. Zenobia doesn't see her. And for what you said, JW, former champion, of course I'm available. I, I'm just saying, I would love to see that matchup. It probably would draw in some numbers, you know. I mean, let's be honest here, JW. I can stand in the middle of the ring for an hour and do absolutely nothing that's going to draw numbers. I mean, it is or, what I'm talking about. Or it will draw Jordan. One or the other. You know, just saying. Pammy takes Chrissy down with the clothesline. Tammy definitely has a size advantage in this match, but she's putting it to good use. She is being a brood of a powerhouse in there. She also made a classic mistake dancing after she took her opponent down. Oh, and Sammy gets up on top. This could be dangerous. See, in this match, Zenobia has the most to prove out of the match because I took her title from her. That's correct. She that's, does that's correct. have... She has a ton to prove. I mean, you ended her title reign and she was champion for a long while. Looks like all three competitors are trying to make their way back to their feet. Who's going to be the first to take advantage? And Chrissy with a huge drop kick, pinning Pammy against those ropes. And Zenobia finishing the job, sending Pammy to the outside. And that brings it down to two. That's a smart move there by Zenobia. Eliminate. Eliminate and isolate. It's very smart. So smart you might think she went to the College of Beeswing. Beeswing oh, University. 
Yeah, we'll just see. It's pretty yeah, worse. Well, with today's match, I was most intrigued to see how Pammy fights, and so far, I'm not impressed. But then again, it is against different people, and you don't know exactly how she'd fight against me. And Pammy may have the size advantage, but I'm faster. That's correct. What? Well, I feel past matches prove anything. It would probably be like the rest of them. You'd probably be a tank. Rolling through the people. Oh, and Pammy tried to get back into the ring, and Chrissy sends her right back down to the outside. Chrissy just German suplexing Zenobia to the mat. Pammy's still on the outside, trying to get the strength to make her way back to the ring. And what do you think about this new ref? I mean, she seems to be calling it down the middle. She's on top of things just like that. Chrissy picks up the three count. Here's your winner of the match, Chrissy. I'd have to say, I, I quite expected that, because out of the three of them, the only one that really showed any promise to me was Chrissy. And that was an impressive match, and it was good to have the one-woman army out here. And she said she would take you on any time, Kalani. Oh, she has to do the same to play some time. But that's another match for another time. Right now, let's get to our sponsors for the main. Oh. And Looks like we're not going to have sponsors right now. Right. Looks like we're going to be joined by the champion himself, Alexius Gant. Well, last week uh, in this ring, I have uh, 
defeated Dave and Danny Boy. It was a really hard match for me. Uh, I went beyond my limits to take uh, this victory. But uh, today I'm not here to celebrate my victory or myself. I'm here because I have a question for someone. And this person is uh, Danny Boy. After her match, he hit me with a super kick. And now I want to know, uh, I suppose, also the BHW fans want to know the reason for this. So now, please, Danny Boy, come out from the backstage and come here in this ring to tell to us the reason of your action. Danny Boy says, ain't it obvious why I kicked you in the face last week? You took away my chance on getting back what is rightfully mine. You spoiled my chances at getting my VAW championship back. The one thing I care about in this world. I know everyone in the back knows, and all these fans know, I'm the best champion, not to mention the longest reigning and defending champion and the first to hold that title three times in this company. I was pinned to lose the match. I wasn't pinned to lose the match, which in turn pissed me off. So, of course, I wasn't thinking clearly for the super kick last week. I'd like to say that I'm sorry it was uncalled for. But, since we're both out here, and we're already talking, I got one more thing to say to you. Oh. So, he's sorry for the super kick last week, but this week he meant to do it. I'm gonna see you real soon, champ. Words of advice, watch your back. I'm coming for you and that championship you have. You woke up the renegade. He's hunting, and guess who the target guess who the target is? For all of this, I'm not sorry. And Danny Boy just glares down at Alexius. 
I I'm, I'm confused. He's sorry, but not sorry? <laughs> there are a lot of people like that in the South. They talk out both sides of their face. All right, and now, while well, they get ready in the back for the main event, let's get to some sponsors. We have Hotshot Clothing for all your hotspot clothing needs. Check out Candy Trice, former women's champion and VAW Hall of Famer. She set, her, set out to create innovative mesh and non-mesh clothing designs for men and women. Lush Audio by TJ Lush. For all your Shoutcast stream needs, check out Lush Audio, the oldest Shoutcast provider in SL with special auto DJ and live stream options available. And don't forget to check out our VAW Twitter account so you can keep up to date with everything VAW has going on. And it appears that Tanith will be the ref for this match so we don't have to worry about a screw job. Alas Alex Xavier oh, has gotten to her too. Tennis says that she will not do a screw job because the wrestlers want to screw her. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the main event of the evening. It is a gauntlet match, meaning Darian will have to...
So Damien will have to take on three guys. So let's get the introductions out of the way. Standing six foot three, weighing two hundred sixty three pounds from Chicago, Illinois, Mr. Popo himself, the cop, Johnny Colt. His opponent standing six foot four, weighing two hundred and twenty three pounds, and should still be the end. The VAW New Blood Champion, Damian De Silva. You are absolutely right. Darian should definitely still be that New Blood Champion. He got screwed. No Vaseline, nothing. It was a bite the pillow situation. Yep. It's like the prison sex, you know? Rough. And Dang goes in for a nice side headlock. I don't know um, much about Mr. Popo in there, but I expect Darian to make quick work of him. And Johnny Colt takes Darian down with a clothesline, a big clothesline. Yeah, for a cop, Johnny's awfully muscular. Makes me wonder if he ain't dipping into the illegal steroids he confiscated in his division. He only eats the fat-free donuts. Illegal steroids. If you are not a commentator or part of the show, please keep your mic off. Thank you. Darian goes for a pin, but only a two count. Darian going to have to do a little more than that to keep Johnny down, it appears. You know, Johnny kind of does remind me of uh, Bubba off of the heat of the night. So, I could believe he's a policeman, you know. And Johnny just taking it to... Uh, Darian, Johnny has a hand to win in VAW in some time, so he's going to try to get one here against the former New Blood champion. And the two count was all that Johnny got on that pin attempt, and Johnny picks Darian up and punches him right in the sucker. And another punch.
Kalani, what do you think about this matchup so far? I think it's gone longer than it should have. Darian should have put this man down already. Yeah, I figured he would have with um, Johnny's win-loss record here in the VAW. Wait, this isn't his first match. I have no idea who this man is. All I know is if Darian wants that match, his rematch, he needs to do something to put Johnny Colt down now. Yeah, he sure does. Johnny Cole playing smart and keeping Darian isolated in that corner. Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh, and it. Well, it looks to be a, uh... Wow, in the three count. That was a uh, top rope Canadian destroyer. That was beautiful. That, that was an awesome move right there. Could uh, Alex Xavier's plan to screw Damien even more be coming to an end? I can only hope. Put your dick on the counter and let me suck your dick on the counter. Excuse me? Put your, push your dick on the counter and let me suck your dick on the counter. Bitch, we ain't 7-Eleven. I'm not about to put my dick on the goddamn counter at 7-Eleven. Get, get a bag of Doritos. Put Dorito on your dick. Let me suck the Dorito off your dick. What? Put, let me suck the Dorito off. You scared to let me suck that cheesy dick? Bitch, pineapple. Get in the car. I'm not going to deal with this. And his uh, next opponent, hailing from Miami, Florida, standing six foot four, weighing two hundred twelve pounds, Sean Tyson. And he wasted no time going after Sean. Get off of mic, please, and thank you. Only commentators can be on mic. And Darian, he is bouncing the head like a basketball. This is not a good way for Sean Tyson 
to make his comeback in the VAW, Kalani. No, it's not, but he seems to be on top of things right now. As Darian ran against those ropes, and Sean Tyson used that momentum to take Darian right down to a crossface. He's hoping for a, a submission here. No, Darian crawled his way to those ropes. I don't know how he got there. And Sean bouncing off the ropes. And Sean is still taking it too, Damien. How do you think Alex Levy came to the decision to pick Johnny Colt and Sean Tyson thus far? I don't even want to try to even think how her mind works I have no idea what what her process was in putting this together in a big DDT by Sean Tyson he's going in for the pin and he only gets a two count you know I've heard people say about Sean Tyson that he's a chicken which makes sense with his last name <laughs> Sean Tyson's got Darian in that bear hug right now. Just trying to squeeze the life out of Darian the Grape. And you get a good point that Danny boy, he is the reason Southern Discomfort split up. He started losing, so I had to leave because made us look bad. Darian somehow finds the way to get out of that bear hug, but then Sean slaps in that sleeper hold. Seems Sean is... He really wants... <laughs> Darian to tap out. Or some sort. Yeah, I don't see Darian tapping out. He's much too, uh, determined to go out like that. Darian drops his knees in that stunner, breaking that sleeper hold. I'm just glad that Sarah Jane is not refing this match. Because Darian would have already lost, not once, not twice, but three times. Because I'm sure she would have done fast counts every time. And that kick of destiny by Darian. Darian's going to go for a pin now. 
And there you have it, another three count. Darian's 2-0. and If he can make it through this last match, he will get his rematch. And what's it for, a stipulation? I don't know, but he really needs to win this match. So he can look at it, Xavier in the eyes and be like, just one more thing. <laughs> I want to be arch, you know. Rub it in her face. I would really enjoy that. And uh, his third opponent from um, Bengal, North Wales, standing six foot five, weighing 275 pounds, former VAW champion, Dave McLenada. You know, I'm disappointed in Dave Mac. I thought out of everyone, he would not be Alex Xavier's lackey. Money talks. And, um, Darian is clearly exhausted. And uh, Dave Mag is taking advantage of that. They might just pummeling Darian with a uh, knee to the gut and a head, but followed up by an Irish. And Dave goes from a spine buster into a pound, ground and pound, and he's going for Quick the. Ten. Only a two count. Please get off mic, thank you. Was this Sean Tyson? Is oh, and a back huge in power the bomb. Did Alex Xavier send Sean back out to do some dirty work? I would Is be that surprised. why he's back out here? Only a two count. Dave Mack is getting into the face of the referee. Not a wise decision, Dave. Yeah. Not wise at all. Hey, hey. 
You need to watch how you touch the women in that day, Mac. Come on now. Don't be mean. Be kind to the ladies. And Jamie with a quick pin roll up. But only getting the two count. You know, I'd love they met to try to talk to you like that, because you lay him out, Kalani. That'd be awesome happen. to see. And Dave smashed Jesus. Barian's head into that turnbuckle. For anyone that doesn't know, under those turnbuckles, that's just a thin pad. Under those turnbuckles is just steel. Yeah, it's a big steel eye bolt. And hooked to that eye bolt is uh, big steel hook. And Darian with that top rope Canadian destroyer once again. Oh. Right, because he had the strength to go for the cover. Damag landed on his head. That was nasty. Ball. And, and Darian goes for the cover. And oh, only and a two please. count. That was something, I tell you what. Did you see the angle that Damac landed on his neck at? Any other person that would have snapped their neck. Yeah, it's a good thing and Damac has all that muscle and stuff around his neck. That probably saved him a little bit. Both men are starting to stir in the middle of the ring. And Dave with that doomsday device, that's got to be it. I've never seen anyone never kick seen out of this before. I have. Happened last week at the free preview. I was asleep during that match. The truth comes out. Oh, and, and a two count. That is twice. Please disregard in two anything weeks. I say from here on out. Twice in two weeks, Davey may need a new finisher, I'm just saying. And Dave again turning his attention to the referee, instead of capitalizing. And Dave going back and trying to capitalize here. Dave telling the ref to do everything but make him a sandwich, pretty much.
in um again in word for me and like Dave male chauvinist oh and Dave goes for another pin after another doomsday device and picks up the three you know what that means Alex Xavier wins this battle yes but the war is far from over the war is never over Yay, they make you want bravo. This video was filmed on location by Zarakan Productions. Zarakan Productions is an umbrella group for many YouTube shows and businesses both inside and outside of Second Life. Please go to zarakan.com for a complete listing of shows and businesses associated with Zarakan Productions and their own media links. Zarakan Productions shows have been organized alphabetically in playlists in a year, month, Day format for easier video navigation. Multiple part videos have been named accordingly starting with part 1, and the last video of a multiple part video series will have end as a part of its title. Please like, comment, and share this video as it helps both Zarakan Productions and the creators of this video's content. Also, be sure to check the playlists for past episodes of show content and subscribe to this channel for future videos. Thank you for watching, and happy wandering.